paying or freeloading? Sorry? Are you paying for food or are you eating it for free? Oh, we just saw the sign outside and we just... Freeloading. Okay. How long you been on the streets? Well, it's been about a year for me and my son just recently joined me a couple weeks ago. Okay. Put out your hand. Couple rules before you show you your booth. First, don't steal the food. If you're gonna eat for free, you're gonna eat here. Second, when you get sat in your booth, no moving around or rearranging seats. Okay? Rose will show you to your booth. Hi, I'll take you to your seats. Is this your first time here? Yes. Oh, you're gonna love it. The staff is super friendly, and we even have entertainment for you while you eat. And this is your seat. Would it be okay if both of us sit in the same booth? I understand the rules, but my son has special... Uh, I'm really sorry, sir. Ruth has pretty strict rules about that, so we actually can't accommodate. I understand. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You want to sit right here? Enjoy. What's with the hat, kid? I think he's deaf. Oh, Where did they find these characters? He's not gonna last. She don't know that. What are you doing? I asked him what his name was. Clay. How do you know how to do that? I took sign language in college. You went to college? Yeah. your attention, please. Welcome to our special freeloaders night. If it's your first time at this diner, please raise your hand. Okay, good. We politely ask that no one gets out of their seats until I'm finished talking. Any questions can be asked afterward. My name's Ruth. I'll be your hostess for this evening. This is Rose, Xander, and Cole. We'll be serving you tonight. So, is everybody hungry? <laughs> Sorry, we don't have enough food to feed you all, so only some of you will get to eat tonight. We'll be playing a, an experiment, a game if you prefer, to decide who gets to eat. Ma'am, please, sit down. <laughs> okay, it looks like it's time to begin. Please stay in your seats and look at the televisions for further instructions. Enjoy.
Welcome. Throughout time, there has been a hatred towards you all. You are all incapable of looking after yourselves. And so, you beg us for food, for money, for shelter. Well, today, we're going to try to change all that. With money graciously donated by our paying patrons, we will dispose of the weakest. And the rest, we will attempt to change into highly beneficial members of society. As we speak, our paying patrons are observing you all. This is the first stage of the game, since it is our hope that some of you will become highly functioning members of our society. It is imperative that we choose the ones with good looks and great genetics. Now, let's have them take a closer look at you, shall we? Congratulations. I trust that the paying patrons have eradicated the weak and ugly, and we are left with the fairly good candidates. As I speak, the waitresses are coming by with blindfolds and two letters printed on card stock, A and B. The next stage is simple. I will ask a question with two answers, A and B. Answer the question wrong, and you lose. Here is your question. Find the card you want to answer with and hold it in your hand. Waitresses will come by to blindfold you. 
This is so you don't succumb to peer pressure. We want you to use your own intuition. I will start a countdown. Once the countdown ends, a beep will be heard. When you hear the beep, answer the question appropriately. After the beep, music will play as a calming mechanism. Once the music ends, the round is over and you may take off your blindfolds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, zero. Our guardian star lost all his glow the day that I lost you, Mr. Blue. I'm Mr. Blue. When you say. Round up anybody's left in the diner, then find the ones that escaped. Use the siren if you have to. Ethan, nice to see some younger faces around here. We need to get out of here. Any ideas? Moose has a dial that controls a siren. We can use it against them. How do you plan on getting the dial? We outnumber them. We can lure them in here. And Thank you. 
The gun is a safety precaution to make sure nobody makes a move. Where's um, everyone else? Gone, missing, dead. <laughs> Who cares? You're all that's left tonight. So is it over? Honestly? Everyone dies in the second round. A, B. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We just didn't anticipate a gunman. So what's the point in continuing then? Just kill us off. Why force us to play? We like to give you false hope. If you knew we were going to kill you off, you would try everything in your power to stop us. Instead, we let you play for your freedom. And as such, you comply to the rules. But there was no freedom. Freedom and death, maybe. Anything you want to ask? Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't hear me. That's okay. Has no effect on you, does it? Maybe this will. I've seen enough. Did we do something wrong? No, you were all fine. It's the others. Ruth, what's the first rule? Don't act until you assess your surroundings for danger. Good, and what happened? I didn't think Eva or Clay could get out of their restraints. That's right. How could we prevent that from happening? I should have tied their hands tighter. Straining their legs would have also helped. Correct. My apologies, Lita. Clay, Eva, Ethan, and Will, come here. You all followed the character instructions I gave each of you really well. Had this escalated, the police would have come, and most of you would have escaped. I look forward to working with all of you at another location. Go home, get some rest. Your work is done here. Okay, first off, where's Xander? He got uh, killed off screen outside by a random. Oh God, a random, huh? Anyway, I'm sorry to say, but I am disappointed in all of you. Sir, we failed you. I take full responsibility, I should have led them better. Yes, you should. Now, who can tell me what went wrong? All right. I'll tell you, there are four rounds to this game. We want to cause as much damage as we can before they are dead. Sir, there's, there was someone with a gun. We couldn't have predicted it would throw off the game. You should have checked when they came in. This is a simulation. That was an actor. What happens five days from now? When we open with real freeloaders and real situations, you would be dead. And this location fails immediately. Sir, these freeloaders were real. Yes, four of them were actors, but we didn't know that till now. We did eliminate a fair amount of them tonight. Ruth, you let them get away. We are gonna go over this situation again and again until we get it right. New actors, new characters. You won't know who is who. So please, pay attention next time. I have to attend to another location. Impressive, sir. 
We are truly doing the Lord's work. Clean up this place, and I'll see you all here tomorrow. And we are expected to reach 9 billion in world population by the end of the week. We reached 8 billion only seven years ago in 2038. The UNPD has not yet commented on how they plan to combat overpopulation. In other news, we have received terrifying footage of the vagrant riots in the capital. We are going on day 15 since leader Mason Ledger put his new vagrant policy into effect. The policy, which aims to crack down an overpopulation of vagrants by limiting food consumption and reproduction, is being hailed as the most important policy government officials have put through since the Immigration Act of 2017. This act saw the deportation and execution of any immigrant not born in this country. Although not all responses have been positive, as 30% of the population have signed a petition to abolish this policy. Leader Mason Ledger has recently released a video from his vacation home where he plans to stay until the riots are over. In this video, he talks about his solution to the backlash. Let's have a listen. My name is Mason Ledger, leader of this great country. It has come to my attention that some of you wish to oppose and abolish my new groundbreaking vagrant policy. And to this I say, do you want your children to be killed? Because that is what you are doing by allowing these vagrants to live among us. 3,200 citizens have died in the capital. We must segregate and determine who is safe and who is a threat. This will ensure the safety of the next generation. However, I will appeal to the opposition for a moment in order to implement a peaceful solution to the backlash and the riots. You may have noticed that we are constructing government buildings throughout the country. These are 24-hour restaurants funded by the government to ensure that everyone in this great country gets fed including vagrants. All this while creating millions of jobs for working class citizens at the same time. In less than five days, we will be opening a few locations in the capital. Vagrants from all over will be allowed to eat for free every night. Now I know that not all vagrants are bad. While this policy determines which of you are a threat and which of you aren't, I will feed you the enemy, because I am a great leader and I care for everyone, including those who wish to overthrow me. Thank you for your time. And I hope you all enjoy the gift that I have given you. God bless. And let's make this country whole again. <laughs>